Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. I'm Tanver, how are you all doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, so in this video I'll be talking about Farmer update. So if you own a Power A Fusion Pro or Power A Spectra Enhanced Controller, then this video is for you. And uh, for this demonstration I'll be using my trusty Power A Spectra Enhanced Controller. From my personal experience, I have this controller for almost like three years, and uh, you know I mash this controller use uh, playing like uh, fighting games like Injustice, and it has never failed me. And I was able to successfully like update the firmware and calibrate it. Now it's better than ever. So you should upgrade it too. There are th few things to remember before you go to the upgrade. Uh, you should set the trigger position to T3, and uh, there are the three buttons that you need to remember uh, take note of are the nexus button that's like the home button and the view button and the menu button so you need to be pressing all three together while, while you're updating you need to be rotating your analog stick clockwise so we have the if you're right-handed we have the tendency to like uh, put the right analog analog stick uh, clockwise but the left analog stick anti-clockwise so don't do that you need to be rotating both of the analog stick clockwise okay so let's get to the update part okay first of all you need to go to google and search for firmware update power a controller for xbox and select the very first option and in you will see you have few options so if you own a like a fusion pro controller so you should download the fusion pro uh, for the fusion update for the fusion pro and if you uh, own the spectra controller then uh, download the firmware for the spectra uh, and this is not an update in case you mess up like in case you like if you have extra but you download the fusion pro and you have fusion pro but you download the spectra uh, and then you should like download this one to revert back to the original mm, driver okay so once you download the appropriate driver I'm gonna download the spectra for Windows 10 and click here and they also give you a little bit of tutorial how to do it so they, they also give you a little bit of tutorial how to update it and uh, make sure to read through that at least skim through it Okay, and once the driver is downloaded, click open and click yes. Okay, and please plug in the Spectra controller into the spare USB port of your PC. So at this point, you, you need to plug in your controller, click OK. And, and it's, it will like uh, show the status connected firmware version uh, 1.18. 1. Uh, 1. So just click the update and it should update it for you. Okay, so the update was successful it's, it's a fairly easy process but now the most important part the calibration process so you must pay attention to it so at this point like now disconnect the controller from your uh, PC and uh, then you're gonna hold so disconnect the controller for your PC and what are you gonna do you're gonna like hold the, this three but this button this button and that one. so you need like three fingers so this this and the home button okay so you you're gonna need like three fingers for it so i was i was able to like do it like this so use the three fingers to hold the three buttons so holding the three buttons together you should plug in uh, plug the controller back into the pc okay so now you have entered the calibration mode and uh to check if you're in the calibration mode you can see the uh led in front of it is like flashing Okay, so once you are in calibration mode, you need to be rotating your uh, analog stick like clockwise uh, three times. Both of your both of your analog stick clockwise. So one, two, three, and after that done, you need to be like pressing uh, both of your triggers uh, fully three times. One, two, three. Okay, and after that's done just uh, press your d-pad down and then press y and if the calibration will successful the led will light up and from the flashing led it will be a, like a solid white light and that's that's how you would know your calibration was successful and just uh, click end here and now just test it on a game. If you see something feels wrong, just do the calibration process all over again. I hope this little video was helpful to you. Uh, 
be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good one.